All right, so picture this. Your baby is lying there, happily sucking their thumb. It's cute. It's calming. But here's the surprising part. That tiny moment? It's actually brain training. In fact, every time your baby sucks their thumb, they're doing something way more important than it looks. Today we're talking about why non-nutritive sucking is one of the most powerful and overlooked tools in early brain development. Whether you're a new parent, a health professional, or just baby brain curious, what you're about to learn might surprise you. Because this tiny reflex we often overlook, it plays a much bigger role in early brain development than most people realize. In fact, it quietly shapes the brain in ways that can impact learning, behavior, and development for life. So what exactly is non-nutritive sucking, or NNS? It's when a baby sucks on something, like a pacifier, finger, or even your shoulder, without feeding. We often think of it as a self-soothing behavior, and it certainly is. But it's also a surprisingly advanced neurological exercise. Here's the fascinating part. Babies don't wait until they're born to start practicing it. By the third trimester, babies are constantly bringing their hands to their face, eyes, and mouth. These movements are rhythmic, coordinated, and remarkably calming. They're instinctively self-soothing, but even more importantly, they're rehearsing the movements that build early brain connections. So in a way, babies are already practicing regulation and sensory processing before they even enter the world. When a baby sucks, it's not just about comfort. It's activating a whole system of muscles, nerves, and brain regions. This includes coordination between sucking, swallowing, and breathing which later translates into skills like speech, eating, and even self-regulation. Here's what's happening beneath the surface. Every rhythmic suck sends sensory input to the brain's central pattern generators, which help wire the circuits for motor control and attention. It's kind of like lifting little weights with your lips. Multiple studies confirm this. In one 2024 study, Babies with mature rhythmic NNS patterns at three months had higher cognitive and general development scores by 12 months. For premature babies, NNS helps with faster transitions from tube to oral feeding and can even shorten NICU stays. It's a small reflex with a big impact. Each little suck, even the ones that seem aimless or sleepy, is like pressing save on your baby's developing brain. It sharpens sensory processing, fine-tunes motor control, and helps babies regulate their own emotional states. It's also a cue to the nervous system that says, you're safe, you can relax. And over time, that sense of safety supports better focus, calmer behavior, and stronger learning. Now for preemies or at-risk infants, NNS is even more powerful. These babies are often separated from natural feeding cues, but encouraging NNS can stimulate brain maturation, speed up development, and improve early outcomes across the board. That's why NNS is a key part of many neonatal therapy programs. So what can you take away from this? Equip your newborn baby with plenty of opportunities to practice sucking, encourage thumb sucking, pacifiers, and swaddle your newborn baby with arms free to move. Because it's not merely a soothing reflex, it's brain development in action. So next time you see your baby with a pacifier or thumb in their mouth, recognize that it's more than a sweet moment. It's neuroplasticity in motion. Because non-nutritive sucking, it's one of the simplest, most powerful ways babies prepare for a lifetime of learning. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more science-backed insights on baby and toddler sleep, and share it with someone who's expecting or caring for little ones. Because even the smallest reflex can help build a foundation for lifelong learning, growth, and well-being. Thank you for watching.